With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with the question which says for a charged parallel plate capacitor shown in the figure, the force experienced by the alpha particle will be. So, uh, as we have been given with a charged parallel plate capacitor, let's consider that uh, this plate is having a charge of positive Q over it and this plate is having a charge of negative Q over it. Alright, so uh, we know for a charge uh, for the charge plate, uh, electric field will be from positive to negative. Alright, so uh, when the charge particle that is alpha that has been given as uh, alpha particle that is positively charged particle when placed between uh, this two plate that is at either point C or point B so the force it will experience is given by the formula F equals to QE alright and here we can we know uh, since alpha particle is positively charged so it will uh, move in the direction of the electric field so uh, electric field due to this two plate can be given by the formula uh, electric field by a plate is given by E equals to sigma over 2 epsilon 0 here sigma is a surface charge density so uh, due to the plate this is the formula so if we uh, consider particle to be at point C so electric field due to this plate let's suppose it has to be M plate and this plate has to be N so electric field uh, due to M will be in this direction and electric field due to N will also be in this direction I am showing it over here alright so both the directions are same so we can say uh, total electric field on C will be EM plus EN so we can write therefore uh, electric field at C net electric field at C we are writing it will be nothing but EM plus of EN or we can say it has to be sigma by epsilon 0 so this is the net electric field at C so we can see over here uh, the force that will be acting will be Q into sigma by epsilon 0 so we can say force at C on a charged particle that is alpha, part alpha particle we can say the force will be nothing but it can be written as Q sigma by epsilon 0 let's say this is our equation number 1 so similarly uh, we have already studied that the electric field is confined within the region of a plate so we can say electric field is same everywhere in this region so we can uh, using that principle also we can directly uh, would have stated that electric field at C and B is same so we can say the force experienced by the particle at point this two point will be the same so uh, but still we are checking it so we can say uh, similarly electric field if we wish to find if the if the particle now is as uh, is considered to be at point b so we can say uh, the electric field will still be the same and we can say uh, that electric field at b will also be nothing but it will be sigma by epsilon 0 all right so from here we can say the force on particle if kept at b will be nothing but q sigma by epsilon 0 so we can say both are the same means whether the particle is kept at B or C it will experience the same force so we can straight away say that this option is the correct option but let's check for further option as well say that the particle now is at A so we can say electric field at A due to uh, M plate will be this way and due to N it would be this way alright so we can say net electric field at A will be 0 so we can write it over here net electric field at A will be 0 therefore we can say force will not act on the particle so will uh, force if particle is kept at a will be zero so we can write uh, zero at a all right so these two options is a correct answer it cannot be zero at c or it cannot be maximum at c so option b and c is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today